Hey there, veteran guardians and new light players. This is Delta 115, and welcome to Act 3 of Episode Echoes. Well, a few days after that, to be precise. Now, before I start, you guys have questions wondering what happened to me. Why didn't I upload this when it was released? Well, to tell you the truth, ladies and gentlemen, I was, uh, how do I say this? I've been tested positive for COVID-19. Yeah, this is the second time I got it. The first time I was tested positive was back at season 18 of Destiny 2. Season of Plunder. Around the part where we had to do the donations. Yeah, and you could tell already that my voice sounds shitty so please forgive me because I've been bedridden from for five days from Monday to Friday so by the time you guys are watching this all the gameplay you're seeing has been recorded on Saturday so please forgive me because I'm trying the best of my ability to get all this stuff done recording all this and editing is not easy for someone who has a very bad mental and physical health problems. So, since I'm getting a little bit better, I thought I might get this done and over with before the next weekly reset uh, hits sooner or later. So without further ado, um, I'm here at the helm. So I'm going to go talk to Failsafe and then Act 3 will start. So, um, let's get started then. I didn't mean to hit that, but, <laughs> yeah, let's go start. Do you still imagine all the possibilities life could have, as I did? Or has fate made other choices for us? If we are to stray from our predetermined path, our salvation requires sacrifice. I experimented to find the words that would make you understand. Make you see what I see. But for you, the cost was always too great. Lifetimes passed before I realized. For me, you are too great a cost. Somewhere was another us that made the right choices. A better us. A better you. Not imprisoned by fate. I do not know what that version looks like. Us perfected. But I will. Because though we've lost everything, I still dream of what we could be. And in one of the many iterations in which we have peace, I only want the one that is real. I will find our golden age. Our perfect future. Yours and mine. And if you cannot see why my methods are necessary, I have the tools to make you understand. Wow, that was a really good uh, introduction for Act 3 of Episode Echoes. I liked how they gave us a recap of what happened in... Lightfall. For those who don't know, that entire kite scene was based on Lightfall, on the research logs that Osiris was looking into throughout the Lightfall campaign and the seasons after that. So it gives us an insight of what happened to Maya Sundaresh, Chioma Essi, and the people that uh, were, you know, at Neptune before the 
city Neo Luna was uh, founded. So, with that intro out of the way, we need to speak to Failsafe. Did you receive the transmission from Maya Sundresh? What did she mean when she said she'd find our Golden Age? As a Golden Age AI myself, I observe a negligible intersection between Maya's current behavior and the relative utopia of that time. There was peace. We turned our focus to the stars, but we weren't conquerors. We were explorers, scientists, adventurers. We reached into the unknown, not to control it, not because we were commanded to, but because we had hope. That feeling was a long time ago, but I'll never forget it. And I'm not getting any of that from Maya. Captain, I have overridden the Vex security around the scene of your last confrontation. The coordinates are standing by. If you find Maya, tell her I reject her entire premise and then destroy her. All right, uh, feel free to pause the video if you want to see this dialogue that Failsafe has spoken to us. But for now, I'm going to accept it. And... This is the beginning of the quest, A Rising Chorus, Act 3. What's our first step? Defeat the Conductor's forces in the exotic mission Encore. Launched from the helm. Okay, we got an exotic mission. Let's pull it out. Don't know what the heck this is. Why is this showing up? Sorry. Um. Anyways, here it is. It's located here. Let's go and start it. All right. We're in the Zog mission. I switched my weapons because of the surges, so let's go and start. Guardian, the Conductor has diverted the flow of Radiolaria to the planet's core. We know her goal. We must uncover her method. It seems a contingent of Shadow Legion has taken interest in Sandoresh's plans. To what end, and under whose command, we do not know. Outpace them. Conductor has directed Radio Laria to a hidden location at the planet's core. Uncover the secrets concealed within. Yeah, but where do I go? Oh, here. I think. Hello? I swear, if that's an entrance, that's... I'm gonna give it a try, though. If I die, I'll die. Ooh! That was nuts! I thought that was some sort of out-of-bounds, but wow. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, shit. 
Oh. Okay, I'm getting some whisper mission vibes here. Like parkour vibes. I guess I go with these things, I guess. Oh yeah, okay. You gotta find those glowing platforms, like that one there. <laughs> okay. This is interested. Whoa. The music's tense. Oh. Oh wait. I miss. I'm not supposed to go down. Oh, I missed again. There we go. Oh, wait. Is this it? Whoa. That's nice. Wait. Look at the top left where my radar is. It's Maya. She now knows we're here. Okay, let's take care of these guys. I can only speculate as to the Shadow Legion's motivations. We have seen allies sublimated into the Vex network. It takes great strength of will to maintain a distinct identity within it. The Echo grants that strength of will. We've seen it firsthand in the Conductor's presence. And we've stopped Scion incursions into the Nessus Vex Collective before. The Shadow Legion wants the same thing we do. That's good. 
So what do I do now? Oh. Retrieve Vex module connection. Oh. Uh, what do I do with it? Do I put it here? Okay. I have a feeling I had to take this along with me. Well, that's pretty neat. right there. I need to reload my guns. Thank you. What is this? That's new. Partition. Oh, requires one. Oh! That one dropped it. Nice. There we go. Which allows me to pick this one up and put it across here. Nice. I like this puzzle. Sesame. That was a fun puzzle. Not gonna lie. Uh, Maya says, what are you looking for? <sighs> a way to stop me? Obviously, yeah. You're a mad woman. To destroy my collective? 100% yes. to help the future? We already have a future without you. Okay. Why is there a... Okay. I have a feeling this is some sort of Indiana Jones type of scenario. Where if I pick this up, Something bad's gonna happen. 
Am I wrong? You know what, let's go try that emote. I picked that up recently. It does remind me of it, so why not? I'm gonna have a little fun. Uh, no, this is. I don't know what's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. We'll soon find out. Oh boy. I knew it. Run away! Okay. That was, uh. That was terrifying. But, uh. I'm gonna go back. back is because I need to take this. Because earlier we saw one of those uh, Vex connection modules there before we realized it was one of them. clear Sanderesh is creating pluralities within the Vex minds instigating individuality within her collective until now each Vex collective was guided by one mind acting in unison Maya has turned a collective into a community it makes them unpredictable. Our tactics must change accordingly. Well, yeah, I guess. Ooh. Oh yeah, that chase back there was actually fun. Again, it's similar to an Indiana Jones scenario. Which I like.
I thought there was going to be some type of boss fight, but I was wrong. Hello, we got new resources. Really? It's not telling me what they are. Uh, as you can see right now, these are the new resources, the purples and greens. I don't know what they're called. And there's a... planetary piston. Survived the collapse. I will survive you. Uh huh. I may have missed some text, sorry, because I wasn't paying attention, but I read what Maya said. Got a new one. Access. Right. Uh. Here. What does this do? So partition opens doors. Connection gives us like structures. I think access gives us vex portals. Oh, that's awesome. module Oh whoa what where Oh I almost fell off Wow okay I 
see another one over there. Let's see where that is. Oh, at least it's back here. Oh, wait. I get it. So I got the one for the beginning, bring it over here. Now I'll go back. Grab that. So I'm basically facing two bosses. Okay.
move on. Oh, here. The more I go into this, the more it feels like it's a mixture of Garden Salvation and other Vex themed related content that I forgot what they were before. Then Data node vulnerable. Huh. Oh. Hello. Oh, man. Now, where do I go now? Maybe here? Oh. That looks promising, but I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, up here. Yeah, there we go. Star buildings. Here. Are the Vex establishing facilities as reconstructions of Sundaresh's memories? Taking comfort in the familiar and forcing the Vex to give her what she needs. Sounds like Maya. Alright, that's the last of them. And I've already collected the samples, so... Where do I go? Maybe down here? Ah, I wish I could use a sparrow. You come from a false future. You are nothing. Oh, now throwing insults, huh? An enemy of progress. Yeah, right. Swatted in ignorance. Ignorance, sorry, my nose is getting stuffy. Raging against my command. Maya Sindresh is like throwing insults at us. That Hydra was annoying. I will create futures. For those who don't know it, why I'm saying like random lines like that, it's because Maya Sendresh is communicating with us. You can see the text on the top left where my radar is. You'll find text from Maya Sendresh as you progress through the story or the mission, to be precise. I think I should go here. Oh my god. Okay. Wait. That's an... Exo head with tubes coming through its eyes. Ugh. Okay. Holy shit! Ishtar Research Facility.
so many sensors going off. Why? Oh, uh, first things first. This reminds me of... Oh yeah, of course. Ishtar Collective and Bray Tech Corporations are the same. But it reminds me of Europa. Oh, here. Access to Gauss Exolite. I need to test. What did we name our daughter? What? Maya? What did we name our daughter? Where are you? What's going on? Please? Maya! What did we name our daughter? Nisa. Elaborate. We debated names for weeks. Parthenogenic incubation was moving along fine in the lab. And the collapse. Everything happened so fast we had to leave. We... Answer. Latency beyond acceptable bounds. Degassing. Examined. No! Osiris, I read your reports from Neptune. That was Geoma Essi. What did Maya do? She's searching for something. Using Chioma as a baseline to find our golden age among the simulations. This is horrific. I'm afraid this is just the beginning. Yep, 100% mad woman. Uh. Oh my god. Did that just blink? Oh my god, it did. That is creepy as hell. Okay, let's let's get this over with. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh. I have a feeling this is a boss fight. And there's a rally flag. You know what that means. Thunderish is a mass of formidable Vex force. But now we can only delay her plan. Guardian, take this opportunity to strike.
got no choice. Thunderous is doing more than commanding the Vergs. She's taking control of an entire collective and using Radiolaria to search the Vex simulation network. Our golden age and her understanding must exist within it. And Shioma. A means to an end. A way to measure reality. A heart weighed against a feather. Could Maya find what she's looking for? I don't know. That is not the question at the front of my mind. That question is only... What will happen if she does? Return to the Helm, Guardian. I need time to think over what we found here. Okay. So, once we finish this exotic mission, we can go to speak to Ikora at the Helm. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the helm, and Ikor is there in front of us, so let's go talk to her. Never trust anyone who tries to justify their actions for the greater good. There are hundreds of copies of Maya Sundaresh in the Vex simulation network. She knows that there's nothing we can learn from the Vex that would bring us closer to our golden age. Those times are behind us. We're here. And we have what we need. No. What Maya wants is control. And for now, she has exactly that. She has an agenda more personal than a golden age. She always does. You saw her experiments. She's iterating. Using the Vex. Using Chioma. We lost so much to the Collapse. But this path won't lead us to anything but more loss. Guardian, work with Failsafe to get back inside Maya's facility in the center of Nessus. With more data, we can uncover her secrets and put an end to her search. Okay, next step. Learn how Failsafe plans to break Maya's encryption, so we'll have to talk to her. Oh, I guess I'll be, uh, reading this part. Uh, please forgive me if my voice sounds shitty. As I said, I'm still in recovery from COVID, so please bear with me. Failsafe is eager to help you break the conductor's encryption around her base at the center of Nessus. She indicates that a core piece of technology vital to fully unlocking her research capabilities was stolen from her wreckage by the Nessus Fallen shortly after she first crashed. Fortunately, she's kept the exact coordinates of where the piece was taken all those years ago. Not that she's been holding a grudge. Reclaiming this piece of Golden Age tech will allow Failsafe to restore access to the conductor's stronghold. She uploads the coordinates to your HUD. All right, so we have to find five stolen Golden Age components in the Lost Sector, uh, the Rift. Was that right? Yeah, the Rift Lost Sector. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are loaded on Nessus. At Nessus Black. Because we are heading to the Rift Lost Sector, which is here.
the ones here are. So let me go clear this area out. Okay, the ads are clear, so we can move around freely and find the tech. So... Ah, so this is what it looks like. Okay. That's one. Doesn't show a good icon of what it looks like, so... Yeah. But let's go find four more. Oh. Okay, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I have lost connection to the game, so it kind of disconnected me and booted me out to the menu. But luckily, uh, I managed to keep my progress, so I did not lose that Golden Age component I picked up earlier. So, right now, we're looking for four more. I just saw two. One there, and one over here. So, let's grab this. That's two. Three. Um, ah, four. And the last one somewhere here. Let's check over there. Last one. Oh wow! Haven't seen that thing in a long time. I'll integrate it into my system, and then watch out, the conductor. I'll be better at researching how to destroy you. Okay, for a minute, I thought failsafe was like yelling out, "Watch out! You got Vex incoming," or something like that. <laughs> All right, now that we found the. Uh... The components we can go and upgrade fail safe at the helm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the helm again. So let's go and upgrade fail safe. Oop! This must be the new module. All right. Now that's done. Let's go. Speak to Failsy. Let's see. Hello, Captain. I have completed another full system upgrade. This time, it went perfectly. I am perfect in every way. Failsafe's voice drops in pitch. Or at least my new research base are, I guess. Failsafe's voice rises again. I documented my changes. So here we go. Failsafe 3.0 patch notes. Perfected research bays installed. Perfected radiolite sampler crafted. Processing power increased by 42.85714%. Rolled back sarcasm limiters. Oh yeah, she has some sarcasm. Uh, increased hot and cold signal range by 96490%. Favorite color range expanded. Oh yeah, I forgot what's our favorite color. Anyway, here's the um the new uh, sampler. Which means the new samples we got during the exotic mission did not count. Now we do. All right. So, that kind of... I think we have more steps, but we got Specimen ID NES007. I'll just pick it up right now. Um, wait, that's it? That can't be it, is it? Hold on. Ah, here. Our next step of the quest is to do the NES 007 quest. Okay, so... Uh, that explains a lot. Alright. So let's go and... 
see what we need to do. I'm gonna mark this down. So, for NES 007, what we need to do is defeat Vex with solar damage. Solar damage, eh? Well, luckily for me, I'm gonna be using an exotic weapon that I used back in my D1 days. And that is going to be the Vex Mythical class. Oh yeah, by the time you complete the um, exotic mission, you get the brand new uh, exotic auto rifle called Choir of One. It's a special auto rifle, not a kinetic, not a kinetic, or a primary type. So, I will try this out. Um, actually, I'll try this out once we um, finish this step, the uh, 100 kills, and then we'll see how it goes. Alright, I got the first step of the NES 007 done, so our next step uh, is secure the data failsafe needs by completing Echo's Encore, Echo's Battlegrounds, or collecting extracted data in the breach executable activity from the... Sorry, let me just move on because it got cut off. Uh, let's see, secure data, <coughs> failsafe needs by completing uh, Echo's Encore, Echo's Battlegrounds, or collecting extracted data in the breach executable activity from the helm. This prototype was enhanced with manipulate data to expand its memory. Failsafe requires more ambient data from interactions with Vex to continue her work. Okay. Um, if you do, just to let you guys know. <coughs> sorry, please forgive me. Um, if you do the encore activity, this one, you can get that step done instantly. But because, for me, I'm doing it different. I'm gonna do other activities because I have to catch up with seasonal challenges and other stuff. Due to the fact I was bedridden for five days. I have to catch up, you know, so I'm going to do it a different way. But for you guys who are working on this, just do the Encore activity again and you get this done 100%. Now that's out of the way, we can, uh, we can move on to the new exotic auto rifle, as I promised, which is called Choir of One. A voice, a choice, an invitation. Wait for this to load up. I've already leveled it up because this weapon is craftable. That's a not bad model. It's similar to the Reckless Oracle. As you can see the stock and the uh, the frame a bit. But it looks really nice. So we got arrowhead break, steady rounds, a new trait called fanatical lance, rapid final blows causes targets to explode into a pool of radiolarian fluid, hip fire launches multiple projectiles at once in a slower moving spread pattern, projectiles detonate on impact. Okay. And then we got composite stock, and then the intrinsic trait is called command frame. Fires extended range, heavy caliber projectiles at a reduced rate of fire. Deals increased precision damage when aimed down sights. Okay. Want to see how this works. So this is what it looks like in first person. Unfortunately... Ooh. Uh, unfortunately, I need to get some special ammo because... This needs special ammo, obviously. Ah, there we go. Let's see how it goes. Uh, let's try hip fire. Whoa! Okay, those projectiles are just like the, um... 
the projectiles from um, the wyverns. Oh, that's pretty cool. What about aim down? Oh! A single shot. Nice. Okay. That's nice. Okay. This weapon is going to be so useful in end game content. Alright. Now that I did a brief showcase of this weapon, we'll move on to the next step. It may take me some time, but, uh... So I will just cut to the point, instead of showing me doing a long, painful progress. Our plan in your tomb was a risky one. I almost didn't propose it. I knew Osiris wouldn't like it. And you... It had to be done. And I thought, maybe, in that moment, I, I, I thought that I would become him instead. Be the saint that our Osiris remembered. Lose who I was. Okay, I wasn't expecting to finish that objective so quickly. I thought it was only the, um, what's it called? The Encore mission that gives you, like, the step done completely for NES 007, but I was wrong. You can do that in the, uh, uh, Encore, um, not Encore, sorry, the, um, the Echoes Battlegrounds. So that's good. Now... Our third step is rapidly defeat Vex to acquire a large sampling. Ooh, okay. That's our next step for this. Let's see. Actually, let's read more, because I know we have to defeat rapid Vex. Uh, the specimen has been manipulated in unexpectedly complex ways. Failsafe has run out of data to compare it to and could use a fresh batch. All right. Okay, we finally got that step done. The rapid vex kill part. So now that we finish rapidly um, killing the vex, um, our next step is to return to failsafe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the helm once again, so let's go. Captain, I was able to access the memory cores of the Exos you found. They were not pleasant, but they did have access codes and geological data about minerals. Not a thrilling read, but the descrambled codes might open up some doors. I'll send them to you. I was gonna finish like saying let's go and speak to failsafe but I kind of interact with her early so yeah uh, again uh, feel free to pause the video if you want to read this dialogue but I will read the the object we have um, specimen name exo prototype 314 report summary this prototype appears to have achieved sentience and has its own specific personality it is unknown why it was discarded. I hope that's not the, um... Oh, that is! So, hold on. Um, research hub instrument fabricated. Exotic mission hub key. Unlocks a new hub in exotic... Mission Encore. Okay. But here it says, A discarded exo chassis in... Uh... Interrogated by the conductor. So this was Chioma Essi that was interrogated by Maya Senderesh about uh, one question that Maya wanted, which is the name of a daughter. So yeah. 
So, uh, once you obtain that, head over here to complete our final step. And there we go. NES 007 is officially completed, meaning the step for a rising course act three has progress. So we are, uh, we need to visit the holo projector. Let's do that now. Hello, Guardian. Fail safe fast that I take over briefing duties while she works on her research. We were speaking earlier. She had disengaged her filter, so she used her uh, rain cloud voice. And she asked how it felt when I took the memories of the other saint. I told her it was like becoming more myself. That saint and me, we are the same. But there was one important difference. You, guardian. The other saint, he died alone. But I met you after Osiris sent you to find me. You gave me hope in my darkest time. I fought to live up to your example. That is how I survived. And slowly I found I was no longer living for you. You were good to have around, do not misunderstand, but... Uh, I was leaving for me. I told this to Failsafe, and she was quiet for a long time. Then she said she had to feed her frog, and I left. But I think it was a good talk. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. That was a very funny interaction. Um. Anyways, feel free to pause the video if you want to read this entire dialogue that uh, Saint-14 has spoken to us. But for now, I'm going to pick up my reward. Alright, that concludes the first few steps of Act 3 of um, Episode Echoes. Now with that done, we have a radio message that will be available every weekly reset. So I'm going to uh, mute my mic and let you guys hear it. Guardian, I bring an invitation. It's not too late to accept. Everything I do is for the sake of a second golden age. I return to what we have all lost. The witness's failure showed that homogeny is fragile. Strength rises from individuality. It rejected the lesson of its own memory. Commander Takao's strength was their individual perspective. Their skill at directing an army. Not a hive mind. The echo of command and I were equally shapeless before we joined. It reformed my consciousness even as I made it into my mantle. Power joined to individual will. This is the key. Commander Takal lacked one. And the witness lacked the other. I hold both. With the echo, I encouraged my Vex's individuality. I commanded your ally. With more application, could anything lie beyond my reach? I have the will and power to create a new golden age. I am no tyrant. The conductor listens to her course. Join it and be heard. I'm sure we'd both prefer you make that choice for yourself. But believe me, that is unnecessary. So now that we finished the first few steps of Act 3 of Episode Echoes, we're going to be doing another quest. 
that you can get from Banshee 44 right over here. What do you need? And the quest is called Choir Eternal. Why is this quest important? Well, this quest will give us an exotic catalyst for the brand new exotic auto rifle, Choir of One. So, once you pick it up, you have one objective to complete, which are these two objectives here. Which is open the first secret chest in Exotic Mission Encore and complete Exotic Mission Encore on Expert Difficulty to unlock the first catalyst of Choir of One. So those are the objectives you need to do. So let's get down and uh, get them done. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm in the Encore activity. This is a normal one, not the expert difficulty, and here's the reason why. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because if I join an expert difficulty, it'll be difficult for me to show you guys the secret chests, as random players that I will join for the expert difficulty would, you know, speedrun it and finish the activity without me explaining things. So. To make things easier, I decided to collect all the secrets first, then I will go and find a fire team for expert difficulty. So according to the Destiny community, there are three secret chests this week. So I'm going to show you where all three of them are. Uh, as you can see, I'm here in this room and I'm approaching the purple room. So once you're here, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, once you're here, slide down, which you'll end up here, Sli uh, you know, getting down the slide, up here. So instead of going right to continue, head left. Right there, you'll see a conflux. Once you activate it, uh, some Vex boxes will spawn in. Like these four. Now you're wondering which one to shoot. Good question. You see that little Vex cube right here? That's where you need to shoot. So if you see this little cube underneath this one, you can shoot it. It'll disappear, I'll move on to the next one. Which is this one. So that was a test. The actual ones are here. You see? All around me. So there's one, two, three, and four. So I'm gonna shoot this one because of the little cube. Now, where's the little cube? No. No. Here. Okay. Then here. And then here, because of the little cube. Once you shoot them in correct order, your secret chest is available. Now moving on to secret chest number two. Okay, for secret chest number two, you're gonna be here in this area where you face uh, Shadow Legion and Vex. And once you kill that Vex Minotaur and you pick up this Vex module partition, head towards over here. Place your module, and then once you proceed, you'll see a Vex Complex. Access it, and then once you do, this Vex portal will open. Once you uh, enter here, take a left where that Vex portal is open.
and we're back in this uh, jungle area from the beginning. Now once I activate this conflux, there's going to be... I'll tell you the truth, this Disrupt Vex conflux is the same thing back at uh, patrolling Neomuna in Lightfall. So uh, once I disrupt it, there's going to be like five Vex plates all over, like, hidden. So I gotta use this complex to help me navigate. Alright, I'm gonna go this way. It's pointing here. There it is. That's one. You see these thin Vex digital lines? They'll help you navigate where they are. Oh, there it is. Two. been able to raise team.97. There Chioma was handling the SE statistics. Let me know immediately if she responds. I'm getting worried. So yeah, once you finish um, shooting those five things, head back here, get your, you know, your secret chest, and you get a intrinsic for your choir of one exotic weapon. Now, moving on to secret chest number three. Okay, for the third secret chest, you're going to be here at Maya Sundaresh's workshop of horrors. That's what I'm going to call it when I enter her experiment room. So once you're here uh, and talk to that, you know, the degaussing exo mind, you'll see um, the conflux here. It'll be here as well, like before talking to this. But uh, I just talk to it because I don't know what's going to happen to it afterwards. Just to be safe. So, you'll see the complex. Access it. And that Vex gate will uh, open. So we're back in this area where we did the first secret chest, obviously. Um... We're gonna go through this portal. And we're entered in a room called some co containment. You'll notice that there's like two access uh, gates. So the goal is to eliminate these um, nodes. But we need to activate a corresponding portal. Now keep in mind there's no wrong answers. You can do a trial and error. Which I'm going to do right now. So if you're worried about perfecting this, don't worry too much. So I'm going to try this first portal. Looks like it's hitting that one, maybe? Let's see. Yep. Oh, there's a minute counter for that, okay. Once that's done... Oh. This one... Okay, that one's available. Boom. Back.
Oh, got that one just in time. All right. Oh, I'm in the wrong one. Whoops. Okay, last one. There we this go. This is my dot six five. Attrition levels are holding steady for Sandrush, Shin, Dwayne McNeil, and our singular friend. It's only Chioma's initiating. We lost a few sandrashes. Too many asses. If the pattern continues, we could lose every shin and Dwayne McNeil. I suspect your shin is swearing in a corner like mine is. Talk to him. We can't give in to despair. So once you destroy all those pods, this chest will appear for secret chest number three. Pick up your rewards. And you're good. Now that concludes all the secret chests this week. If you want to keep track of all the secret chests, you can go here to your triumphs. Go to the Azotic Mission Encore. Scroll all the way to the end here. You'll see... Hold on. It was somewhere here. I forgot which one it was. Oh, wait, no. Don't go there. Go to your titles, Intrepid. Here it is. So, you'll find this um, triumph called Hack the Centaur, where it tells you to collect all seven secret chests in the exotic mission Encore. This will help you keep track of all the secret chests. Now that I showed you the secret chest this week we'll move on to the expert difficulty I'm not gonna do uh, that much gameplay it's just pretty much me killing the boss that's it um, the only thing you need to do is have a team have modifiers like uh, champion modifiers and that's it Thunderous is doing more than commanding the Vex. She's taking control of an entire collective and using Radiolaria to search the Vex simulation there network. Our golden age and her understanding must exist within it. And Shioma. A means to an end. A way to so measure reality. Once you um once you completed the choir or the Encore mission on Expert Difficulty, you get the Catalyst. And that's the end for that quest. Alright, before I end this video, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the Enclave, and the reason why is to modify the wire of one exotic auto rifle. So I'm gonna go to Reshape, go to Choir of One. Now, this is what the perks I got in general for Choir of One. Um, so our, um, what's it called? Our uh, catalyst is subsistence refit that we just got ourselves unlocked. Um, that's one thing. Uh, we're going to upgrade the intrinsic from Command Frame One to Command Frame Two. So that's done. Uh, what it did is that it unlocks all the barrel perks. So we'll see what good options we got. Uh, we got extended, hammer forge. Hmm. You know what? Arrowhead brick's fine. I'll take that. Uh, we don't have the magazines unlocked yet. Or the stocks, so that's from the the later uh, 
intrinsics. So let's finalize it. With that fully upgraded, well, not fully, partially upgraded, that concludes the uh, showcase. And that's the end of the video, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I apologize for uploading this video late due to the fact of my, uh, well, problems with my health, with COVID and, you know, etc. For now, I'm gonna go get some rest, try to recover as much as I can, and hopefully I can get out of this COVID situation. Um, don't know how long I have to be isolated. I've been, like I said, been bedridden for four or five days, so I guess a couple more, and I should be back to normal, hopefully. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video of late, leave a like. Subscribe and check out my YouTube channel for the latest Destiny 2 and other gaming content. And also, if you want to get notified and for extra content, you can check out my socials, which the links will be down in the description box below. That is all, my fellow Guardians. This is Delta 115, signing out.